Now, vaping is a hot topic uh, right now. We talk about it a lot, but there's a lot of confusion, a lot of questions, and a lot of research that still needs to be done. In fact, researchers at The Ohio State University have really helped the CDT, CDC to link an additive that is used in those tainted vaping cartridges. Yeah, those are likely to blame for the outbreak of lung disease and even those deaths we've seen all across the country over the last six months. State House reporter Jason Aubrey telling us now about the findings, which were, we're told no surprise to experts here. No, that's right, Mark. Vapor industry experts have been telling the CDC from the beginning what they think has been causing the illnesses. Now, with some help from researchers at Ohio State University, it's looking more and more likely they may have been right all along. When reports of a mysterious lung disease that was killing people who vaped came to light, people in the industry figured out what was causing it pretty quickly. Really, we're kind of ignored. And until finally in November, the, the CDC finally had released findings that, you know, the majority of these cases, if not all, have been related to this vitamin E acetate oil. Working with the CDC and FDA, researchers at The Ohio State University helped to identify vitamin E acetate from tainted black market THC vaping cartridges likely played a role in the illness, not your typical vaping products. We're just thankful that, that they were there to, to really take this project on and really put the truth out there that what, this, what is causing these illnesses and what could happen if there is a flavor ban to the adult vapors. The outbreak and steep increase in teen use of vaping products provided a reason for some in positions of power, like Governor Mike DeWine, to call for a ban on flavored vaping products across the board, something researchers say is a knee-jerk reaction. There's no new smoking gun when it comes to evidence about teens and about the dangers of vaping. We've had two relatively unrelated um, phenomenon intersect, but sometimes what stands to reason to ban devices, to ban flavors, doesn't stand up to the evidence. Fairchild says it's important to keep things in perspective when it comes to vaping and its use. This isn't just a new product that's on the market. It's there as an alternative to one of the most deadly products that we as human beings have ever created. Now, small businesses may have gotten a win today, but they are not out of the woods yet. A deadline coming up in May with the FDA could devastate the entire industry. All right, Jason, thank you. Also tonight, a 